Hello student, myself Dr. Rashi Nigam. Today I will teach you anatomy of thoracic vertebra. In this, we will discuss how many vertebra we, we have, number of vertebra, then differentiate between cervical, thoracic and lumbar vertebra. Then we will differentiate between typical and atypical vertebra. I will teach you part of thoracic vertebra. First, we will see how many vertebra we will have. Okay. So you can see here these are the seven cervical vertebra. Then 12 thoracic vertebra. After this, five lumbar vertebra. Then five sacral vertebra, which are joined to form sacrum. Below, four coccygeal vertebra, which are joined to form coccyx. Before that discuss the anatomy of thoracic vertebra first we will see the parts of thoracic vertebra or any vertebra what are the parts of vertebra so this is called as body it is body of vertebra this is transverse process of vertebra this is superior articular facet of vertebra this is spinous process of vertebra here you can see this is the inferior articular facet of for vertebra this is pedicle of vertebra the part of vertebra which join body with the transverse process called as pedicle of vertebra. The part of body which joins transverse process with the spinous process called as lamina. So this is lamina. I again repeat body of vertebra, superior articular facet of vertebra. This is the pedicle of vertebra, transverse process of vertebra, lamina of vertebra, spinous process of vertebra and below inferior articular facet of vertebra. Now we will see how we can differentiate between lumbar vertebra, thoracic vertebra and cervical vertebra. So you can see here, bacho, here you can see this is the foramen in the transverse process of vertebra. So this is called as foramen transversarium. This is present only only in cervical vertebra. So this is foramen transversarium. The spinous process in cervical vertebra is bifid. You can see it is bifid. Okay, bifid. This is only present in cervical vertebra. The vertebral foramen is large in cervical vertebra for lodging the cervical enlargement of spinal cord. You can see these are the process, these are called as uncle process. This is present, these are present in cervical vertebra. So cervical vertebra, foramen transversarium, vertebral foramen large, bifid spine and uncle process. Okay. We will discuss thoracic vertebra. Thoracic vertebra has hard shaped body. Thoracic vertebra has long spinous process projecting downward. Thoracic vertebra has most important feature that is costal facet present on body as well as transverse process. The facet on the present on the costal on the thoracic vertebra may vary. This is the lumbar vertebra, large vertebra, reniform body. This is the lumbar vertebra. Its transverse process has some projection. You can see this is the transverse process. It has projection. Uh, tubercle, three tubercle. One is main, which is on projected on the lateral side. It is the main transverse process. One projection above, one projection down. So, three tubercle present on the transverse process of lumbar vertebra. The spinous process is short and stout. Large size is very large in lumbar vertebra. Easily you can, in a hard shape, vertebral foramen is present in lumbar vertebra. Easily you can identify with the cervical vertebra, between the cervical and lumbar and one more thoracic so now i think you can differentiate between cervical thoracic and lumbar vertebra now we will discuss thoracic vertebra thoracic vertebra we can divide typical and atypical so first we will discuss typical thoracic vertebra these are the typical thoracic vertebra you can see here so now we i, I will tell you how they are articulated with each other the one pro, verte, body of vertebra projecting on the another body of vertebra in between these two body there is intervertebral disc okay so like this they are placing in our body the inferior articular the inferior articular facet of one upper thoracic vertebra articulates with the superior articular facet of lower vertebra okay like this they form the joint you can see the appreciate the facet i told you now on present on the body of vertebra so you can see here two demi facet present on the body of vertebra now i will tell you how rib articulate with the thoracic vertebra you can see there are the two demi facets present on the body of thoracic vertebra so upper demi facet articulate with the corresponding rib okay lower demi facet articulates with the lower rib so this is you can see how these are articulated and the this is the head of rib this is tubercle of rib tubercle of rib articulates with the 
transverse process of vertebra okay corresponding vertebra suppose second rib is there and second uh, thoracic vertebra is there so upper facet articulate with the second rib and this transverse process also articulate with the second rib okay so this is the head of rib and this is the tubercle of rib so it lo like this rib and vertebra are articulated you can see here in between this is the neck of the vertebra this is the transverse process in between the neck and transverse process, you can see the costo transverse ligament what is present here costo transverse ligament here you can see this is the superior vertebral notch see superior vertebral notch this is called as inferior vertebral notch these notch are transmitting spinal nerve so first thoracic vertebra transmit c8 spinal nerve okay these vertebral notch transmit spinal nerves okay superior vertebral notch transmit preceding spinal nerve and uh, inferior vertebral notch transmit corresponding spinal nerve because we have eight cervical nerves eight cervical spinal nerve so c8 transmit with uh, on the superior vertebral notch of t1 vertebra that's why inferior vertebral notch transmit corresponding spinal nerve Al always remember so each thoracic vertebra typical thoracic vertebra has two facet two demi facet present on the body of thoracic vertebra okay now come to the this is the tubercle Uh, transverse process of vertebra and this is the lamina of vertebra you can appreciate between the spinous process and transverse process what is present lamina all lamina all lamina of vertebra are connected by ligamentum flava one fibroelastic membrane running from above to downward this is the ligamentum flava like this membrane is connected ligamentum flava okay these are the two spinous process the tip of spinous process both spinous process the tip of both spinous process are connected by supra spinous ligament supra spinous ligament in between the transverse two spinous process there is inter spinous ligament inter spinous ligament supra spinous ligament i have two atypical vertebra with me you can appreciate first this is the t1 first thoracic vertebra now we move on the facet you can see appreciate complete facet present on the upper border of vertebra and the demi facet demi facet present on the lower border of vertebra see complete facet and lower demi facet now you can see this spinous process also looks like the process of the looks like the process of the cervical vertebra because here is transition from cervical to thoracic so body is all almost equal the same has the cervical vertebra but this is the t1 vertebra because it has facet on the body of vertebra as well as facet on the costal facet present on the transverse process of vertebra okay so this facet denotes this is the thoracic vertebra but body is almost same as the cervical vertebra you can see the ankle process is here and you can see the spinous almost looking like bifid spinous process i have one more atypical vertebra this is the t12 vertebra you can appreciate these vertebra this vertebra is less looking like the lumbar vertebra you can see the body large body looking like the lumbar vertebra we can move uh, we can see the spinous process short and stout as in lumbar vertebra we can appreciate the transverse process this transverse process has tubercle upper to superior tubercle inferior tubercle and the main to uh, in lateral tubercle lateral tubercle that is the main transverse process superior tubercle inferior tubercle and the lateral tubercle so this looking like the lumbar vertebra so this is t12 because it has it also has complete facet you can appreciate this has complete facet on the body of vertebra so this is t12 vertebra after typical vertebra we will move on a typical vertebra in thoracic vertebra the first thoracic vertebra ninth thoracic vertebra 10th and 11th and 12th these are the a typical thoracic vertebra how these are have some difference present in these vertebra you can appreciate in t1 vertebra we can see two facet are present one is complete facet upper facet is complete facet and lower one is demi facet okay so this is the first thoracic vertebra you can see two facet present on the vertebra in which two two demi facet present on typical thoracic vertebra but first thoracic vertebra you can see one facet is complete and lower one is demi facet okay now you can see ninth vertebra only one demi facet present on the superior border of vertebra so you can appreciate only one demi facet present on the vertebra in 10th 
full single complete single facet costal facet present on the vertebra you can see here nine gay facet 10 complete facet present on the body of vertebra all t1 t9 t10 has facet on the transverse fossa but t11 and t12 doesn't have any costal facet on the transverse process of vertebra okay so these are the atypical facet atypical vertebra t11 t12 again has large complete facet present on the body of vertebra you can appreciate here these are the floating ribs this doesn't have tubercle that's why in these two ribs last 11 and 12 ribs you can see 11 and 12 ribs they doesn't have any tubercle so there is no tubercle so no facet present on the transverse process of vertebra 